Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So a very beautiful autumn evening here at Lake Zurich with a view on the mountains. But my mood is not so beautiful actually because of this baby here which already needs a third module repair or module swap of its battery. So let's talk about it a bit and talk about the symptoms and so on. And I think this could be the next diesel gate for VW. So when you enter the car, you're greeted with this beautiful message here. Electrical system not functioning properly. Please talk to your service. And I will switch it once in English. That you see it. So this is the message in English. Electric drive not working correctly. Please visit workshop. So yeah, let's talk about it a bit. So this uh, car is an ID4 MAB platform from 2021, from June 2021, manufacturing date, and it has a big battery, so 82 brutto and 77 net capacity. So originally this was supposed to be a review of the car, how much I like it, how much I recommend it, how spacious it is, how low the consumption is, uh, and so on and so on. But the car has battery issues and I'm driving a lot. And I think this car will be one of the first ones to reach 160,000 kilometers or 100,000 miles, which are actually the warranty. So it's 80 years or 160,000 kilometers. And this car is uh, four years old, so it's from uh, June. I'm just reading some stuff here. It's from June 21. Mm, so it's four years old and currently it has 152,000 kilometers. So this winter I will reach the 160. I'm driving around 40,000 a year or even more recently. So this car um, had already two battery modules replaced and I will talk about it. So Volkswagen has this recall or service action, how they call it, which is called 93P7 and it applies to cars which were manufactured in 21 and 22 and it tells you the following. And by the way, funny enough, you only find it uh, for the US market and in the European market this information is completely hidden, but it's basically the same. It tells you the high voltage battery cells may experience an increased self-discharge due to a production fault. This can lead to a reduction in battery capacity and in driving range. If this condition exists in the vehicle, a warning lamp may illuminate and the message electronic system does not work correctly. Please go to workshop, may be shown in the infotainment display. Yeah, and they recall the cars uh, from March 29, 2023. So this is basically um, what is happening with my car. It's telling this exact same error message. So now to the funny part or better to say sad part. So this car had this recall done in June 2023 and I will show you. Here's the service history. So 93 P7 battery modules check and change. Uh, and it was done at 71,000 kilometers in June 2023 as you see. Um, yeah, what do you think was the outcome? VW basically said, your battery is okay, it's not affected, everything is all right at 71,000 kilometers. And then, one year later, in November 24, I saw for the first time this message, this very message at my car, at 117,000 kilometers, almost 117,000 kilometers. Electrical system not working properly, blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah. So what's the issue? The BMS, the battery management system, cannot equalize the voltages throughout the battery cells. And there are 96 battery cells in 12 modules uh, here in the ID4 with a big battery. And in November 24, this was the cell affected. So it was the cell number 6. It had the lowest voltage here, 4.04 volt and 4.08. Uh, I think it's at 100% uh, charge. So yeah, so the difference is too high and that's why um, the car is throwing an error. So yeah, in November 24, my battery module, I think it was module number, was it module number one? Yeah, I think it was module number one. It was replaced, everything all right. Um, yeah. Fast forward to April 25. Second battery cell throws exactly the same error. And this time it's the cell 33. And a second battery module is um, replaced. So, yeah. And then, half a year later, in October 25, third battery module is affected and I will show you uh, now the live data here because I will fire up the OBD so let's have a look so let's have a look at the battery energy module here and the faults that it's showing so the fault in question with this type of failure of the battery pack is hybrid battery pack voltage variation exceeded limit and the fault code is P0 BBD00 and the status is static so yeah this is what you see basically uh, when um, these battery modules cannot be equalized in voltage and I will show you the live data here let's say select all Let's have a look at uh, live data. It's very um, easy to spot the cell that is faulty because you will see here. Um, give me a second, I need to scroll down. So you have here the following maximum voltage for battery cells, minimum voltage for battery cells. And yeah, the cell that is faulty, this will always show the minimum voltage for battery cells. So it's the cell 41 this time. And you see the variation is around 0.02 volt. And if you scroll down, so all of the cells, they have more or less the same voltage here, 3.63. I am right now at 35% um, battery charge, 3.63, 3.62 something, 627, so yeah. So, and if you scroll down, this one will have the lowest voltage, you see, 6.22, 6.3, so the others are m have much higher voltage, and yeah. This is basically the cell 41, which is affected this time. But what about this uh, fault code? Let's have a look at the VW internal documents from the US. So in the technical documents, VW is referencing exactly the same error. So P0, BBD, 0, 0. And it states here, in some high voltage batteries, there have been cells that demonstrate an increased self discharge due to a production fault. An increased self discharge in individual battery cells can lead to a reduction in overall battery capacity and therefore a reduction in the range of the vehicle. And then they say here production solutions, improvements 
made to battery production process, calendar week 46, 24. 46, 24. So that means it's not only the cars from the years 21 and 22 affected. Question mark? I don't know. So that's why I think it can be really a big problem for VW going forward if they state themselves that the battery production process was yeah improved only at the end of 2024. So this is actually uh, yeah really concerning if you ask me. And yeah, after the second battery module was um, replaced, they give you this beautiful battery health certificate which states that the battery is okay, that was actually at 136,720 kilometers uh, after the second battery um, uh, module change. And they say that the capacity is at 91%, so a degradation of 10%. And if you're wondering uh, if this has something to do with charging on the fast charger or not. So here you see I'm driving a lot, but I'm not fast charging a lot. So it says DC only charged 10%. So in the whole, let's say vehicle life, uh, this whole battery was charged only 10% on the fast charger. And the car only stood 6% or 6.8% of the time with full battery. So, um, yeah, you see, um, this is actually how you need to treat the battery, but it doesn't really help. And I think this battery certificate is uh, basically worthless because it tells you nothing about the health of the battery and I'm not concerned about uh, the battery degradation uh, it's normal so I had the BMW i3 before uh, with 190,000 kilometers and after 10 years the battery was still at 90% which is okay I think it just goes down quickly 10% and then it flats out but also the 10% they are not really correct, I think, because uh, I have a range in summer of 450 to 500 kilometers here in Switzerland and in winter, let's say 300, 350 kilometers. And I'm always charging. So if the battery is completely empty, there are some buffers up and down. And I'm always charging. If the battery is completely empty, I'm charging 73 kilowatt hours so and the full capacity and the full usable capacity is 77 so that means a degradation of just uh, four uh, kilowatt hours yeah kilowatt hours I always uh, mix it up so that would be a degradation of four to five percent after uh, four years which i think is okay and the range is okay as well but nobody can look into the battery and tell you the health of the battery. I think VW should replace all of the battery modules or the whole battery basically once one module is affected. And this Salama Tactics, um, it's just waiting for the cars to reach the 160,000 kilometers or 100,000 miles and then it's not their problem anymore. It's not the problem of Volkswagen, it's your problem. And basically at this point of time, if something like this occurs, uh, your car is worthless. Um, you can still drive it, but with the error and probably it's affecting range, probably not. Uh, for me, I don't think it was really affecting range or uh, the charging capacity or anything. So I don't know, but it was just one cell and not many. But as the time goes, many cells can be affected and yeah, that's a bit of a sad story. 
So guys, just some final remarks on the topic. So as you see, uh, the whole battery certificates things and recall checks, they're basically worthless and they don't guarantee that your battery is okay. They just show you the degradation state, which is pretty normal and which you should not bother about because there is just marginal degradation. But there are bigger issues with the batteries, so battery cells not functioning properly as you see. And VW knows about it, they mention it in their own documents. They know about the manufacturing defects. And I think this topic will become bigger uh, as the time goes on, because more cars will reach higher mileage, just like my car. So. Please tell me in the comments if you experience the same issues, if any of your cars is affected from the MEB platform with the same batteries, so basically ID3, ID4, ID5, uh, ID Bus, uh, the ENIAC, uh, the Cupra, Tavascan, or how the thing is called. ID7 uh, would be very interesting if any of the ID7s are affected. So please tell me in the comments and let's uh, collect, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, the amount of people uh, with the same issues. Um, really looking forward. And yeah, I have my um, service inspection whatsoever for the battery at the 3rd of November and I will update you how this whole story goes. I will try to get all of the remaining modules replaced, but I think VW will continue the Salema tactics and will not do it, but let's see. We could be surprised. I don't know. <laughs> so drive safe and uh, cheerio. Bye bye and see you in the next videos.